everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new to the channel don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more videos for those who don't know me my name is Fadi I'm a henna artist and in today's video I'll just be giving you guys some tips and tricks some advice on how to start a henna business and how did I start it and how how is it going now and all of that so let's get into the video so when I first started doing henna, I actually started drawing on notebooks just to get an idea on how to draw a flower, the circle, a line, all of that stuff, you know? And then I got interested in doing henna. So I went to a local store and bought those ready henna cones. I'll put a picture up here for you guys to see what I'm talking about. So as a starter, I recommend to get a ready henna comb because you know as a beginner you would not know how to make the henna paste and all of that so just get you something that's ready for you to use once i bought that i went on a notebook and drew whatever i wanted to draw and then just trace it with the henna paste that i bought from my local store so just to get an idea on how to use the cone and you know just see how it looks and all of that so that's a that's number one thing that i would recommend as a beginner Okay, and number two, um, before starting doing clients, start like drawing on yourself or get a friend, your sister, or even your brother, you know, just anybody to, anybody that trusts you or, you know, that supports you to just, you know, get an idea on how to do henna on a client. So use somebody that you know as an example. I mean, use somebody that you know so that once you get better, you can start doing it on clients, okay? Once you get a hang of, you know, holding, knowing how to hold the henna cone and drawing, like once you get comfortable, once you get comfortable, that's when you can start, you know, um, doing it on client. When I started, let me tell you how to get clientele, okay? I should be talking about how to get clientele on another video, but I'ma just sum it up on here. So when I first started, I went to uh, my local, I went to a local mosque, okay? And at a mosque, I, I already trust people, you know, I know them. I mean, I don't know them, but I know how my religion people are. So I print out flyers, and then I went and passed it out after prayer time. Um, it was during our holiday time, so I know during the holiday everybody wants the henna then. I print out flyers, I put my name, I put my address, and I put my phone number. Red flag address. Don't ever do that, guys. Biggest mistake I've ever made, okay? The biggest mistake because, let me tell you what happened. So, because I put my address on the flyer, people were coming, like, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Like, I literally started doing henna at 7 p.m. and finished around 3 or 4 a.m. Like, every time I'm done with a client, it's a different person coming. Why? Because I put my address on there. So don't ever do that, guys. Do, don't ever do that. So ever since then, I never, like, I do still do flyers because that's the best option for me to build more clientele. But don't put your address on there. Please don't. That was the biggest mistake I've made. I'd never done it again. You learn from your mistake, you know? And I was, I was a, like a beginner. Like I didn't know how to, like I thought that was a good idea, you know? But that was the dumbest idea ever. So don't do that, okay? From there, people just started hitting me up. You know, they started re recommending me to other people, their friends and all of that. So that's how I built up my clientele, you know, by passing off flyers. So that's a good option. Also, um, make sure you have a business account on social media especially instagram or tiktok now is pop uh, once when you're doing people henna when you're doing clients henna take videos take pictures just so you can have something for people to see because people want to see your work before they come to you right so make sure you take videos and pictures after each client okay uh what else what else i'm trying to see what else Mm. So yeah, I recommended you guys to get a ready henna comb as a beginner and once you reach that level of like, you know, a professional henna artist, I'll be dropping a video on how to make the henna paste and what henna I use 
and how to make the henna stain stay longer and all of that like i will be dropping i'll be uploading another video so make sure you subscribe so you can get a notification once i upload okay that's all for today's video guys thank you guys for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe i'll see you guys in the next video